From England's fulcrum to France's Renaissance man, here are the 10 players who have lit up the opening two weeks of the tournament. At 10, it's Eric Dyer. His screamer against Russia in the Group A opener might have taken everyone by surprise, but his excellence in front of the defence has come as a shock to nobody who watched Spurs last season. Adept at hitting passes of all ranges with both feet, his calmness on the ball and ability to break up play before starting attacks from deep have drawn comparisons with Sergio Busquets. Praise doesn't come much higher. At 9, it's Lejan Memushai. After a nomadic career spent mostly in Serie B, the Pescara midfielder's performance against Romania is one that will be talked about in his homeland for years to come. Demanding the ball for the entire 90 minutes, his fleet-footed dribbling and line-breaking passing were a joy to behold. Yet his assist for Armando Sadiku's winner stole the show. Jinking on the right of midfield, he pinged a perfect cross that took out three defenders, leaving his teammate free to nod home. Lovely stuff. At eight, it's Hantor Halderson. As everyone's favourite underdogs, Iceland were the impressively bearded darlings of the opening round after holding Portugal to a 1-1 draw, with Halderson putting in a career-defining performance between the sticks. His eight saves set a new championship record, and his speed off the line, expert marshalling of the defence, and delight in repelling Ronaldo and co sent social media into a frenzy. At seven, it's Gareth Bale. The 2014 format might have resulted in far too many teams parking the bus, but despite this giving Bell less space to destroy the opposition with his direct running, he's further proved he is simply the most talismanic international player on the planet. You could point the finger at goalkeeper errors for his first two goals, but the fear he creates by simply standing over the ball clouds judgement and forces mistakes. World class in every department. At six, it's Granit Xhaka. Due to his impending move to Arsenal, Xhaka is one of the most scrutinised players at the tournament, and he hasn't disappointed Gunas desperate to see if they finally have a player capable of bossing the midfield. Fiercely competitive and clever on the ball, he is the driving force of an unbeaten Swiss team and his refusal to be dominated by the French midfield in the final group game bodes well for his future in the Premier League. At number 5 is Tony Cruz. The Real Madrid man has played every minute of Germany's three matches and is a study in how the modern central midfielder should go about his business. His passing is crisp and inventive and his vision second to none but it's his movement that is the real joy. Always available, he receives the ball on his back foot in the tightest of situations and remains completely unflustered while doing it. Remarkably, he's only taken one unsuccessful touch and been dispossessed a mere three times. Truly a phenomenon. At four, it's Ivan Perisic. We expect Luka Modric fans will be furious that his less celebrated teammate has got the nod, but Perisic fully deserves his place in the list. All left foot and hard running, he continuously unsettles defenders and his goal against the Czech Republic was a sign of things to come. Not many people beat David De Gea at his near post, but Perisic gave the Man United goalkeeper no chance as he drilled home the winner to ensure Croatia topped the group. At number three, it's Leonardo Bonucci. Is there a more complete defender in world football than Bonucci? If your answer is yes, then you should have a long hard look at yourself. Although he's rugged in the tackle, excellent in the air and quick on the cover, he's more than a mere stopper. A midfielder at youth level, he possesses excellent technique and is a wonderful passer of the ball. A skill he demonstrated in Italy's opening game by launching a 50-yard pass to set up Emmanuel Giacarini for the opening goal. At number two, it's Andres Iniesta. Remarkably, after more than a decade of quietly severing teams, there are people who still don't fully appreciate Iniesta. And depressingly, this is probably our last chance to see him at a major tournament. The king of recycling possession and turning it into key passes, his assist for Gerard Piquet in the opening game banished memories of the 2014 World Cup, and his performance against Turkey was an absolute masterclass in the arts of attacking midfield. Enjoy him while you can. And at number one, it's of course Dimitri Payet. To go from being known as a wasted talent who couldn't be bothered to your country's heartbeat in the space of five years is some turnaround. We all love Payet, don't we? We love that he wants the ball at all times. We adore him for crying after scoring that left-footed thunderbolt and we are head over heels that he's looked around the dressing room and decided he's going to be the man to bring joy to France after an incredibly difficult year. Arise, Sir Dimitri. That was our top 10 players of the Euro 2016 group stages. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to Copper90.